oh no, did I do the equivalent of getting all hammered up in Vegas and falling for looks and finding out I get married the next morning and regret it? Or am I in for a long and wonderful relationship with the paranormal base? Is the honeymoon over? Let's find out. Hey y'all, it may seem like I'm uh, late to the party doing a review on this uh, Fender Paranormal Rascal, uh, but in fact I actually had it pretty early in the game, probably about six months ago. Um, I bought into the hype from seeing guys like uh, Lowen Lobster and Johnny Dibble and other fine base creators that uh, whose opinion, quite frankly, I trust. And uh, looks alone, I probably would have bought it, but uh, you know, I also trusted the reviews on it. But instead of doing a review on it right away, I wanted to see if perhaps the honeymoon phase was over. Um, you know, give it five months or so and see if I still love the sound of the bass. I mean, obviously the looks I love, but see if I still love the sound of the bass and see if you can actually record with it, gig with it live, or maybe it's just something for uh, for jamming around the campfire with a little crappy amp or playing a rocksmith or just hanging on the walls in hopes that someone will notice and maybe you get laid. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. So we're going to put it through its paces. Right now it's plugged just directly right into my audio interface, the Steinberg MK2. Um, and then we'll add on a preamp so you can compare it. Uh, I'll throw a little bit of dirt on it, a little bit of overdrive, and maybe some sort of effect like a flange or a chorus or something like that. I'll play with my fingers and a pick. And we'll go through, obviously, the, the settings from it. You've got the three-way toggle switch. That goes for that pickup. That's for both. That's for the back pickup. And then your volume and your tone. Nice and simple, and that's one of the beauty of it. Um, this is not the first scale of, uh, short scale I've tried. Um, I also tried the um, Ibanez. Uh, which I'll put up there, a little picture of that, um, which I wasn't crazy on because it was active. This, of course, is passive. It was active, and, and when you when you cranked uh, the volume and, and uh, or cranked the bass and the uh, treble on it, it actually broke up, it, like almost distorted by itself. The preamp just, just overdrove, and it, it didn't sound good at all. Um, it was only useful but passive. And, uh, you know, there's some quality control issues, but that's not about that bass, that's about this bass. All right, so we're just going to start off with some samples here, uh, fingers and pick. Not much pick because I suck with a pick. And maybe a little bit of slapping um, between the two. All right, so here we go. As I said, it's just plugged straight in right now. This is with fingers. We'll start in the middle position, tone and volume all the way up. The tone knob doesn't do a lot. It's very subtle. Um, you know, I prefer the big sweep for it, but then again, this is basically just crank it and play it. All right, so tone back up full. Let's go to the front pickup. Here's the tone halfway down again. phone of mine didn't uh, just pick up god damn it and we'll go to the back pickup here sorry this is tone all the way up definitely a little honk here tone halfway down All 
right, so that's your tonal varieties, uh, again, plugged in direct. By the way, you find that uh, because of the scale of the bass uh, and the way this is positioned, that this seems like the front pickup, and it's really awkward to play up here. So that's why I'm basing back here. All right, we'll try just with a little bit of pick. That's full tone, half tone. Front pickup. Tone all the way up. Tone halfway. And tone all the way off. back up and the back pickup again very quite a bit long here tone about halfway and tone all the way up As far as the pick goes, that's probably my favorite configuration. But again, that it's very, very subtle the, the the tone. It's it's a it's a minor minor sweep, maybe a little bit in the mids. All right, now we're gonna try. Um, ah, what the hell? We'll throw on. This is uh, a sans amp simulation, sort of just a preamp, so you can get a little bit more of a flavor of if you put it through a preamp as opposed to straight across. Way it goes darker, even though I have the presence quite a bit up on this. It's uh, as soon as you add a preamp to it, it seems to darken, you know. And that's that's one thing to notice is it's definitely um, more of a vintage vibe, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, so here's with tone halfway. Farty there. This is our front pickup, tone all the way up. It's kind of thunderbirdy there a little bit. Uh, tone halfway. It's very nice actually. That's uh, you know, it's not a it's not a precision, but uh, you definitely get that kind of vibe from it. And then we'll go to their back pickup here with our tone all the way up. It's a bit of a honk. And you can hear the break up there. Again, halfway. And tone all the way off. So that's kind of farty there. It's kind of breaking up a little bit. And let's quickly run through the pickups with the pick. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the tones, save some time. There's a the front pickup. 
coming up. I think with the pick, I definitely prefer it on the uh, on the back pickup. All right, we'll just try one more little thing here. Uh, well, a couple more. We'll try to throw on some uh, some overdrive. This is a, a, a kind of a dark glass emulation overdrive. Pretty muffly, not that great of a sound, quite frankly, in my opinion. And lastly, let's just throw in, I don't know, some phaser. <laughs> what is that song? <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically a, you know a quick um, shoddy rundown of how this bass sounds overall. Um, give you some final thoughts on this. Yeah, I'll keep it. It's a, it's a keeper. It's definitely got an element. I mean, if you want to go for some sort of different tone um, in the recording studio, perhaps for a different part or a different song, a uh, different vibe, sure, why not? Holds tune well. Um, everything works. It's solid. Uh, live, I, it's pretty limited live. It, this is kind of a one-trick pony. Definitely either that really, really farty Sabbath sound or uh, basically vintage classic rock is what I would keep it for. Um, you know, perhaps if you're trying to... Maybe some like trying to emulate upright jazz you know, upright basses for jazz or something like that, maybe. But um, this would definitely not be in my live arsenal with a, as a backup or anything like that. This is just a basically just a nice looking showpiece. Again, fun for Rocksmith and something like that, and uh, something to have kind of handy in the studio if you just want to change things up a bit. All right, well, uh, hopefully you learned something from this, and uh, you know, you took away a lot of time. I could have put down about three beer by now, so I'm gonna get on that, and we will see you. Next time, uh, the next episode's coming up. As promised, I'm going to do a preamp shootout and also a little, a little surprise review, which uh, I'll be wearing a tux. Peace out.